Here is a very unique and interesting plant. It's not the red root floater that you've probably zeroed in on, but the plant around it, all right, those little green flecks. That's called Wolfia. Its common name is water meal. It's in the duckweed family, all right? It's very small. I got some of them on my finger here, all right? It's so small, it's considered one of the world's smallest flowering plants. And I actually believe it holds that title, but you know, by the time I post this, they'll have found a new smallest flowering plant. So it's it's quite unique in the in the world. I really like this plant, and I use it in two important ways here in my fish room. I mean, it's not obviously much to look at, um, but it, it is quite useful for me in two ways. First, being it's high in protein. It has the protein of a of a bean, a, a soybean. And it's very nutritious, so fish love to eat it. And I feed it to all my fish. Um, can't really keep this plant in a tank with many fish, because like I said, they will eat it, but um, uh, you can keep this in shrimp tanks. Like this is a shrimp tank, so it does fine in here. All right, or you can just, uh, it's very easy, you can keep it in a jar, all right? So first benefit of it, it's high in protein, it's quite nutritious. It's actually a, a human food in, in some countries. I've tasted it, it is, it is kind of good. Um, so high in protein, quite nutritious, uh, and you can use it as a, a, a fish food. The other way I use it is really to filter uh, my light intensity. You know, being I keep a lot of plants, I have to struggle with algae, and this wolfia, is is quite nice in that it you know further shades uh, you know restricts you know light from getting into the aquarium and one way it's really nice in that aspect is you know if i'm floating plants that are under the surface you know like just stem plants a lot of these plants will interfere with them and then get become mixed up and um you know then it'll cause stuff like this red root floater to die but this wolfia in a tank with uh, plants like that, this will just sit on the top because it actually sits on the surface of the water and it doesn't interfere with the plants, won't get mixed up. And even if it does get mixed up, it comes right to the surface because it's just one tiny uh, small plant. Um, you can have problems with this with some filters because it is very small and it will get stirred into your water column quite easily and get caught up in your filters. Um, but other than that, it is a really great plant. So um, like I said, high in protein, it's a great shade for your tanks and just be careful with, uh, you can have some problems with some filtration in this plant.